What's up guys, it's Big T and welcome to this super fun Wednesday edition of Lincoln Trivia. Yes, it's hump day. The week is half over. We're outside, it's beautiful. I'm excited you're here. We have full summer in swing and what better way to celebrate with than with a fresh slate of trivia about aquatic water sports. We're outside, the birds are chirping, it's beautiful. I have some great trivia that is sure to test your knowledge. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Linker, for giving us a $25 gift certificate to In-N-Out Burger. That's right, we switched it up on you because we were at In-N-Out yesterday and thought, okay, let's hook our players up. By the way, don't think I didn't get animal style, because I did, on the fries too. Had to do two extra sit-ups this morning. I'm back down to 300. So be the quickest to answer all five questions and you will be the new owner of a $25 gift certificate to In-N-Out Burger. Everybody loves that, right? And remember, if you miss a question, hit the second chance button and get back in the game. So, let's get started. One casual water sport is when you are affixed to a board and pulled by a boat via a rope. For Q1, what are you doing if you are on a board being pulled by a boat by a rope? Are you wakeboarding? Whitewater rafting? Or dragon boat racing? I mean, this is kind of a give me, right? I would say so. I would say so. When I say casual, I don't mean anybody can just saddle up on a board and start riding flawlessly. It's a very hard thing to do, but it's super fun, or at least it looks fun sometimes. Sometimes it looks painful. The answer, of course, that I'm looking for is wakeboarding. That's right. All of you got that correct, because you're all smart people and it's summertime and it's California. This is what we do. Just for fun, wakeboarding is a combination of water skiing, snowboarding, and surfing. Just thought you should know that. Moving on. Let's enter the world of PWC racing. This is a super popular sport among jet ski aficionados. So for Q2, as it pertains to aquatic motorsports, what does PWC stand for? Is it People's World Champion, Personal Watercraft, or Personal Wake Cruise? Hmm, interesting this one. This sport is also known as watercross. Have, have you ever heard of motocross? Well, it's exactly like that, except for it takes place on unpredictable water from oceans, rivers, and lakes. The correct answer, of course, the one I'm looking for, is personal watercraft. Haha, -ha. personal watercraft. Riders on PWCs reach speeds up to 85 miles per hour in watercross races. That's kind of crazy. That's hauling butt on water, for sure. Let's stay on the top of jet skis for just for this next one. While they're commonly referred to as jet skis or personal watercraft now, that wasn't always the case. For Q3, what was the original name of the jet ski? Was it a wave runner, water scooter, or wake rider? Hmm, this one's a little harder. Jet skis were originally developed in the UK in the mid 1950s with the first ever model being from Vincent. Vincent. The model was called Vincent Amanda and it was driven by a propeller. The original name of the jet ski was actually the water scooter. Oh, boom, look at that. <laughs> Most of you, almost 90% of you got that one wrong. Apologize. I'll have to talk to our writer about that one. That was a tough one early. In 1973, Kawasaki developed the, the first standing jet ski. That one turned out to be a bit harder to ride for those of you that can remember it. That was a tremendously hard one to get to know how to do. So remember, you can buy back in on this, and this might be a good time, as that was a savage question early. Remember, we're playing for the, uh, what are we playing for? The $25 gift card to In-N-Out Burger. Let's move on to the subject of speedboats. In 1972, the world water speed record was set for Q4. The boat that holds the water speed record was made of what? Steel, fiberglass, or wood? Another tough question. Dang, Tyler is all over it today. The water speed record, since I know you're all wondering what it is, is 317 miles an hour, almost 318. Ken Warby of Sydney, Australia built the boat himself with a budget of just $260. The, 
the boat, the Spirit of Australia, was made entirely of wood? Another tough question. Obviously, you would think most boats are made of fiberglass, but this one was made in his garage by himself of wood. That record still stands to this day, 318 miles an hour. That's unbelievably fast on the water. Too scary for me. Power boat racing is a tradition as old as time. Well, not exactly. For your last question, in what year did the first power boat race take place? Was it 1931, 1904, or 1801? Hmm. You can probably figure this one out based on the motor. The invention of the marine engine led to its inevitable destination. Two dudes racing each other breakneck speeds in boats. It was only a matter of time, right? Testosterone always takes over. The first known powerboat race took place on the Hudson River in the year 1904. And look at that. We had one correct and one incorrect, and that was Q5, which means we do have one winner congratulations to today's winner you answered all five questions correctly and you will be receiving this 25 dollars gift certificate to in and out burger bought to you by linker who was it oh it's the beautiful tambella everybody's gonna think she cheated but she didn't she does not have the answers she's just really smart people don't think that because she's so pretty anyway i digress well, that's it for our aquatic water sports game today. I would like to give a big thank you to everyone for playing. I know it was a hard one today. Lots of arbitrary questions. I'd also like to thank our event sponsor, Linker. Don't forget to subscribe to my event feed to stay up to date on our upcoming events and get reminders when it's time to play. Uh, be here tomorrow when the topic is pizza, near and dear to my heart, which also has another fun prize. So check that out on tomorrow's prize promo. And remember, you are all winners in my book, people. Cheers. Have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.